Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung says Singapore's best long-term response to cope with rising costs is to ensure workers have jobs and enjoy a steady increase in real wages. He says the government's strategy of creating new jobs and attracting quality investments here have worked. Mr Lee was speaking to 8,500 participants at the NTUC 50th anniversary May Day rally celebrations. The increasing cost of living is a concern the government is keeping a close watch on. That's why Mr Lee says the government will continue to invest in the people and continue to make Singapore attractive to businesses. Ensuring good jobs, whether for present workers or for future workers, is the first responsibility of any government. And this is what the PAP has delivered and will continue to deliver. And this is what voters must ask any political party seeking your support. How will you create growth and jobs for Singaporeans? Don't just say we will, you will have prosperity. The civil servants will know how to do it. Permsecs know what to do. If the ministers don't know what to do, you can be sure that things will mess up. And with the PAP, we make sure the ministers know what to do. And we make sure we have a successful formula which provides good solution good pay, good jobs over the long term. Aside from long-term plans, Mr Lee says the government also has short-term measures to help Singaporeans. Some of these include keeping the Sing dollar strong to keep the cost of imported food affordable and to help in certain areas for specific groups. The government, he adds, is also making special efforts to help low-income workers through initiatives like Workfare to top up salaries for older employees. Nobody know, knows what the world will be like. It will be a different world full of challenges, but also opportunities. It will be a bright future for us, provided we work hard together. So let's cooperate to strive for better jobs, better pay and better lives for our workers and for all the people of Singapore. Prime Minister Lee says the parliament has a significant number of MPs from the labour movement. He says they make important contributions like looking after the interests of workers as well as ensuring the government policies are pro-workers and pro-Singapore. He says the current slate of PAP candidates include a good number from NTUC and he called them participants to support them. To ensure that NTUC remains relevant and effective, Mr Lee announced a development fund. It aims to raise $50 million for the NTUC 50 Development Fund. This is to build a three-generation membership base of one million and to develop future generation leaders in the labour movement.